Governor Inua Ihaya of Gombe State says he will work to foster collaboration between the Northern Governors Forum and the federal government in solving the security challenges in the Northeast. Yaya spoke with State House correspondents after a private meeting with Vice President Kashim Shetima at the presidential villa Abuja. The governor said that the sustained peace in Gombe State was largely because the diverse ethnic and religious groups in the state coexisted cordially. There is peace in Gombe for so many reasons. One, the nature of our people. We, we are sort of a mix of several ethnic groups and several religions joined together and living peacefully. So within a family, you could find people of different faiths, but sharing the same parents. So because of that, the background is so okay that now we build on it and coordinate the relationships. Secondly, uh, government get focused and is working day and night with the security agencies to ensure that there is compliance with law and order. And uh, there is compliance to a reasonable extent in Gombe. But the issues that have to do with resources, especially the land resource, because our people are peasant farmers, and uh, you know, farmers means those that are involved in crop production and livestock. So in between, because of the encroachment of our grazing reserves, forest reserves, and even the cattle routes. Issues have started to spring up, and uh, those issues are those that catapulted to become, uh, to result into rustling, banditry, and kidnap for ransom, which is very, very prevalent in, in the Northwest and the North Central. So at the moment, we are focusing on doing that, maintaining the peace by providing for each and everybody and each and every sector in a way that uh, we understand and cooperate with one another and we give chance so that as you do unto yourself, you do the same to the other person for the purpose of obtaining peace and tranquility in the state. That is why Gombe has made some difference and that's why we are. And as the chairman of the Northern Governors Forum, I will ensure that we get to the roots of all those problems and through the support of the various state governments and the federal government itself, we come up with the solutions. You see, Pladin too is a global or national phenomenon that really is being felt elsewhere. Mind you, if you talk of flood for, from the north, it's either through the tributaries of the rivers Niger and Benue that link up and the confluence in Lokoja and then run down to the delta, ending in Bielsa to the Atlantic Ocean. And those tributaries, as a result of the change in the nature and geography, there is siltation. We wouldn't like a repeat of what happened last year to do the same this year. But in whatever we do, we have to be both proactive and reactive. We've not reacted in a way that we solved all the problems of last year, and this year has started. So we need to double, you know, we we'll do some little backtracking and move in double locks to catch up with the current trends and do the needful. So all hands must be on deck, NIMET, the states, NEMA, and whoever has interest in, uh, you know, uh, environment and environmental control has to come together and work with the government in order to solve the solution. More so, Governor Omar Namadi of Jigawa also had a private meeting with the vice president. Namadi told State House correspondents afterwards that he came to meet the vice president, who is the chairman of National Economic Council, NEC, to discuss issues affecting the state. On flooding in Jigawa, the governor said that a technical committee of experts was set up. So we discussed some issues of vital importance that will help to improve the economy of the state and also solicit some support from the BFI, being the chairman of NEC. We have bought two excavators and also had a Jamara bought two excavators. As of today, we are able to dredge the river about 36 kilometers and we have removed the typha grass. And also, again, part of the recommendation of the committee is that we should do some embankment in the flood prone areas. For now, we have done more than 85 uh, kilometers of embankment with a two and a half meter height 
and for me that thickness. And the, the, the people are happy because uh, something is being done to salvage the situation.